It's really interesting to see like who your fans are, I suppose. I remember playing in Belfast once and there was this 19-year-old boy or whatever and he was with his mum and she was just like, oh, I love your lyrics. And he was like, I like the beats, whatever. My feet won't stop, I can't keep still. Be rocking this until the sunlight. That beat's so sick, that tune's so ill. Seems they know just how when I come to a city, it's always nice to have a look around. And in Oxford, I've only actually ever checked out from the pavement, from the tour bus to the venue. So today, I'm going to go exploring. I heard that the punting scene is like totally raging around here. Oxford was the first date of a tour that I'd ever done. So it was a really weird concept for me to think that like people had bought a ticket to my show. Do you know what I mean? Like this wasn't a festival. Or I wasn't on a kind of up and coming show or anything. This was like KTV tour and I remember just like literally couldn't get my head around it. It was really weird. Oh look! Oh, should I buy one? I'm going to buy one. Hello. Hello. One hat. Okay, that's a gift for you today. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, thank you so much. I'm ready. Oh my god, if I fell in, how amazing would that be? That'd be like TV gold, isn't it? Oh, oh! <laughs> I feel like I need a glass of champagne or something. Before the show, I'm always like, zoom, like I, I kind of like can't concentrate on anything, or someone asks me a question and I'm like, it takes me like three minutes to reply. Whereas after the show, I, it's like, you can't shut me up. I'm full of adrenaline and I just want to chat to everyone and I'm like, does anyone want a drink? And I don't know, I just feel like hostess with, to the mostess or whatever after the show, before it's like, different vibe. I'd always, always, always had a hype man from when I was like 16 or something. I remember like coming on stage when I did my PAs and I'd be like really scared and just sort of sing my song and then I'd just go off. And then I had Tipper with me for like a long time. But now, yeah, it's just me. I, I do all my like bouts with me. <laughs> to me Oxford and jump up and down stuff. I think people do like to jump. I think they do like it. And I think it gets very satisfying when you ask people to jump and then the whole venue is like jumping at the same time. It's quite a nice feeling because I think when I was younger, I always used to think like, what if I ask them to jump? And then they, they, do, they just look at me like, yeah, all right, love, like, nah. But they, people do, they love, I think they love like getting involved and stuff. We had a little bit of sun and now we've got this kind of this is cosy and it's got a blanket, a handsome young man <laughs> rowing the boat, you know, what more can you ask for? <laughs> so that was amazing. I'm so happy with my Oxford punting experience, but we're gonna go and warm up and get a cup of tea now. I've got a wicked band. My band are so talented. It's been really, really nice practicing with them and figuring out the set and just feeling really prepared and it all being really slick. I think having a bit more experience this time around in how to translate my music from a recording to live has been a lot smoother. Because I think on the first record I found that quite tricky because, uh, you know, it is hard to kind of authentically translate something that is dance music into a live thing. But I didn't want to just go out there with a DJ or just kind of playing completely over track. When people come to see me, I want them to feel like they are seeing a live brand and seeing a live experience. Five minutes before I go on, I'm definitely like in performance mode. Like I feel like I need to jump around or something. I'll do like some like star jumps and like run on the spot or something. Like before the London show, I did this weird like skip hop jump in the air. But I had a drink in my hand and then I managed to pour rum and ginger beer all over my head. So sometimes it doesn't really work out. So this is my inhaler and it just sort of, yeah, hydrates my vocal cords um, so that um, they perform better, really. Warm ups are the most like embarrassing things ever. Sometimes you do have moments where you slip out. Like last night I walked on stage and there was all these photographers in the pit and I didn't even think about them. And then for one moment I was like, there's gonna be a review of this show tomorrow. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then I just had to like bash it out, like just get back in the moment. If I ever have a thought entering my head, like that's not helpful. I just 
go back to the story of the song and then just think about being in that moment and then I'm fine. My feet won't stop, I can't keep still. They rock and listen till the sunlight. That beat's so sick, that tune's so ill. Seems they know just how to move me right. When I'm 40, Maybe I would have chilled out a little bit by then. I'd love to have like lots of backing vocals and lots of horns and lots of musicians around me would be really fun. Because I can't imagine me sort of like jumping up and down and I'm, well maybe, maybe I'll be like Madonna, like some crazy like yoga bunny and like just be still raving it up.